have a tabletop with a worn out finish and a base that is still in good shape? Well today we're going to show you how to refinish that top, match the stain color, and we're going to do it all in under 5 minutes. So let's go. So this is an old drop leaf table, probably from the 1920-1930s era, and you can see here I am starting by just sanding off the old finish. Uh, this finish was, had been had some water damage on it, and here I am sanding with 180 grit. I think later on I dropped down to 120 because it just was going a little bit slower than I liked. But the first thing we got to do is get all this old rough finish off. We are using our surf prep sander here, and I'll put a link in the description below. And but we also have a coupon code for 10% off of any purchase on the website. I'm pulling this table apart here so you don't sand over sand on one side or the other. The joints aren't perfect there in the middle flush and it can cause you to kind of rub too hard one way or the other on one side and burn through the veneer. Now that the table is all sanded down we've got to pick a color to match on the stain to the base and I've got one of the leaves here and we are going to refinish the leaves so it will be a the top will be a perfect match across the board. We want to get very, very close, and since this leaf was in great shape, I used it as what I was going to compare my stains to. Now, we like using general finishes stains, and these are a few here that I used. I think one is antique brown, and they're brown mahogany gel stain and water-based stain. But I ended up putting a few more on there because I wasn't very happy with the first few that you saw there. And what ended up being the winner here is the general finishes Cabernet water-based stain. It is right at a perfect match. You don't want to completely neglect the base of the table, so here I am just using some steel wool and using a product called Restore Finish just to kind of liven up the base and make it really pop. And we're going to come back at the end after a couple of days of it sitting and drying, and we will seal it when we top coat the rest of the table. And now it's time to apply the Cabernet water-based stain from General Finishes. And one thing with these water-based stains, they dry so fast. Uh, you have to walk in, work in small sections. This table wasn't just a really big table, but this stain will dry up on you very quickly and become very streaky when you're trying to wipe it. So you want to work in small sections and when you wipe, you always want to make sure that your final wipe passes are with the grain. We don't want to be rubbing against the grain, at least not on our final wipes. That it has been a few days and the table is all nice and dry it is time to get to spraying sealer on it we are using a professional slash industrial grade sealer here it is a 2k we mix with a catalyst for extra durability we ended up applying three coats here on this and that is just to make sure that we give this table a very long lasting finish before we go show the final results of this piece let's go take a look at where we started on this And here is the finished product. This piece has about 80 to 100 years on it right now and we hope that we have refinished it and given it another 100 to 80 years of life. As always, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and please stay tuned for more furniture DIY.